for our healthy living segment are Anthony and Stephanie. Hello guys, Good morning. both trainers uh -huh. at Crunch Fitness. This morning they're getting you more on the difference between cardio and strength training. They're showing us some exercises we can do and why strength training will burn more fat than cardio and boost our metabolism. Yay. Good morning, I hate guys. cardio. Hi, thank you for having us. Yeah, so there's, there's definitely pros and cons to both strength training and cardio. Um, now when it comes to strength training, if we're really trying to lose fat, especially around the holiday season, mm -hmm. That strength training, building the more lean muscle will help burn more calories okay. help, and in return speed up your metabolism. So essentially, if you're driving around in a Kia in a pickup truck, the truck's going to burn <laughs> gas a little bit differently, right. more efficiently. Okay, okay, I see. So here we have a couple exercises. One, we're going to kind of combine and uh, increase that heart rate a little bit. We're going to do a squat jump. All right, we're going to put you right in the middle here. Yeah, we're okay. ready to walk right over and just do the squat jump. So this will kind of help get the heart rate up there. And if you can combine the cardio with the strength training, that's kind of your best bet. Okay. Is there like how far do you have to get off the yeah, ground? Or like, kind of the higher, the better? Uh, the more you explode, the more you're going to kind of work. Okay. The higher you get up there, but there's no... So how many of these am I supposed to do? <laughs> 20 is always a nice, safe number. Okay. Safe. Yeah. Why? yeah. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> And then if we combine these with some squats and shoulder press, then we're kind of combining that strength training. You want to form almost a circuit. So you're combining the cardio with the strength training there. Okay. So I don't jump with those. I just... I was gonna say, we're not we jumping with these, no. What if jumping is kind of not in my realm of being able to work out? Jump what if I have bad toes. knees or things like that? What could I do to so, kind of replicate uh, that? So TRX bands are great because you kind of hold those, help you balance. Okay. Um, those are the stretchy kind of workout bands. Those are the yellow straps that are connected to oh, the okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The wall. yeah. You can tell I know a lot about working. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, those guys help with balance. A lot of times we use those to actually teach clients how to squat, okay. to uh, kind of reinforce putting the weight back on their heels. Mm -hmm. So should I do like sets of those? Yeah, so like if we can. I'm trying to like pocket these. I know, right? Like, right? Okay, what should I go do right now when I walk <laughs> off this? <laughs> so if we kind of combine what we're showing you here is squat jumps, then the squat with shoulder press, and next we're going to do bent over row. Okay. If you combine the three into almost a circuit, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. You're mixing the strength training with the cardio. Oh, I could do those. So Got those it. are easy. Mm -hmm. So you want to have an angle in your back, right? Absolutely. And when you're doing any exercise, really, if you keep the chest up and the shoulder blades tight, you're gonna protect yourself. Okay. It's gonna keep the spine straight, but essentially all she is doing is pulling up and squeezing those shoulder blades. Does it matter how much yeah. weight you're carrying? Is it like say, depending on like what you like? So the homeowner and right multitasker in me is thinking about like picking up like a laundry Suitcases, basket or something like that. Oh, baskets. So if I'm at home and maybe don't mm -hmm. have weight, the traveler what could I use? Thinking, gallons of water, yes. Gallons of water. So a gallon of water weighs about eight pounds. Okay, so wow. That's kind of perfect. There you go. Hmm. Um, what I like to tell all my clients is don't get so caught up on what weight you're choosing. Just make sure your last three to five reps are challenging while maintaining form. That's kind of a healthy, safe way to gauge what you're doing. Should you mix up like different types of exercises like specific, like uh, strategically or should it be, you know, like... A absolutely. Uh, everybody's goals are going to be different. Mm. But, you know, I always like kind of combining some sort of heart rate exercise to get them really sweating. Uh, combined with some sort of isolation exercise and then some sort of stability too to really work the abs in there as well. Very Can nice. you show me one more? What else do you guys got? Uh, let's go ahead and do a plank. Oh, oh wow. Getting <laughs> her on the ground. Get yeah, on the, the ground. ground. <laughs> <laughs> so the key here is to really keep the back straight. A lot of the times you see clients, they'll put their butt up very tall in the air. Right, okay. You want to avoid that. And then you want to engage the core. Um, just keep everything nice and tight. I got you, girl. You got this. You're you doing can do good. it. And then again, any I'll exercise an you can, <laughs> any exercise you can mount, an Oreo. It easier or harder, right? Donuts. <laughs> I know. Donuts. Okay, you can, you can get out of here. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Like now we're just like standing here staring at her like, that is just impressive. So I guess uh, kind of bottom line, so what's really kind of the difference between, I guess, doing more of a cardio exercise between this? Is it kind of the uh, amount of fat you're burning or right, what's the benefit? Right, am I wasting time on the treadmill, like running two miles? Like what's the difference? So treadmill is great. There's definitely a time and a place for it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to really trying to alter that body composition and burn fat, your body is burning that energy differently. When you're okay. on the treadmill doing cardio, you're attacking your system a little bit differently than when you're doing the strength training. Hmm. The strength training, you're really getting the sugar burning that. Sugar is basically fat. We kind of talked about that last week. Um, so when you're doing the strength training, you're increasing lean muscle. The more lean muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. So that's your car sitting in the driveway running, but not driving. You're still burning gas. Hmm. 
So essentially, the more lean muscle you have, the more calories you burn, the faster metabolism gets, the easier you lose that fat. Um, so it's obviously nice to do like a combination, but the strength absolutely. training is like benefiting absolutely. if you're trying to like lose fat. Yes, tighten up, right. firm, everything mm -hmm. like that. Combination with strength training and cardio is probably the best way to go because mm -hmm. some people do need that cardio in order to lose right. weight. Mm -hmm. um, but the strength training will keep your metabolism stoked for like 48 hours after you do that workout. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And so there's obviously many different types of cardio. Can mm -hmm. you maybe walk through a few of those? So you got your typical treadmill, Stairmaster, elliptical, okay. rower, stuff like that. And what we're kind of trying to aim at here is if you combine the strength training with the cardio, that's when you're kind of getting that HIIT training, that, that mm -hmm. boot camp style, where you're elevating the heart rate up, but you're letting it come back down. Right. Um, a lot of times when we just go and we run, you think about marathon runners, the heart rate gets up there and it stays up mm -hmm. there. We, we like it to spike, drop, spike, drop. That way you're burning fat while sparing muscle. Right, well yeah, that perfect is, for the holidays. Yeah, yeah it's perfect <laughs> for the hot and for post holidays too. So if you would like to get more fitness uh, tips and advance from these experts right here, you can visit Crunch Fitness located in Fort Myers, Bonita Springs, and